Hello class, this is Miss Augustine, and today I am going to try to illustrate one of the gas laws for you. Specifically, I'm going to try to illustrate Charles's law. So what I have here is an empty soda can, and I'm going to pour a little bit of water into it, and I'm going to heat it up. So, here I go, tongs. So I'm heating it up. Now, why am I heating it up? Well, Charles's law, states that there is a direct relationship between temperature and volume of a gas. So as the temperature of a gas goes up, so does its volume. So the gas inside of this can is expanding. And the way I'm going to know that it's expanding is because I put water in there, so I should see steam coming out when it's expanding. So again, as temperature goes up, volume goes up, you'll see I'm actually starting to get some steam coming out. I want to get it good and hot. I don't know if you can see it, but there's steam coming out the top. Getting it good and hot. This is not a Bunsen burner, so it doesn't go as fast as I'd like. There we go. So now that I have steam coming out the top, I'm going to suspend my can in water. So what just happened? So what I did was, and I don't know if you can see this, but what I did was I sealed the surface of the can using water. So what that means is that because the air inside of the can was heated, it was allowed to expand. That meant that the density of the air inside of the can was lower because it had expanded out. So then when I sealed the surface with the water, no more exchange could take place with the atmosphere and the atmospheric pressure actually crushed my soda can. So this is an example of Charles's Law at work and this is Ms. Augustine signing off.